with this type of plain congee normally we have it for breakfast and a lot of time we can have it when we're not feeling well when we're sick hi guys today i'm going to show you how to cook simple <laughs> plain congee i'm going to measure just one cup before we cook any type of rice we always rinse the rice the way that you clean the rice or rinse the rice you just have to squeeze the rice and you can rinse it until the water is a bit clear so here is my fourth time okay this water is the final water that i'm going to use so for now you can put one part rice and three part water and we're going to bring this to boil and i can show you the process it's really easy to cook congee especially the plain one after you determine how much congee you're going to cook so if you cook just for yourself i recommend only quarter cup and here i cook for about four people it depends on how much you're going to have this type of congee we normally eat it with salty fish salty eggs uh, fried eggs um, sometimes just a boiled egg with soy sauce but these type of congee we normally have it when we are not feeling well when we're sick when you start to see the water boiling to give it a good stir because you don't want the rice to stuck in the bottom of the pot and now we just wait till the water is boiling let it boil really hard first before you lower the heat to medium high heat because sometimes it can foam up and it can spill normally when i cook congee i just looked and i can tell when it's cooked but this time i'm going to put the timer <laughs> something i never do before okay i'm gonna put 10 minutes for now let's find out together if 10 minutes gonna do it or take less time so medium high heat about heat eight and for every so often just come back to stir it and leave it <laughs> so now it's about two minutes we'll find out after <laughs> 10 minutes how it will turn out and here after about six minutes and i can see that the rice is absorbed most of the water and i can tell that this congee is going to be too thick i'm going to add one cup of water okay now only three minutes left and the texture of the rice, they're not ready. Okay, here is the rice after nine minutes. Nine minutes is perfect. So you can measure. Now I know, <laughs> I know that to cook perfect congee, one part rice and four part water. If you're going to measure it, but normally I never measure. I just look, if it's too thick, then I can add more water. And the texture, it's hard to see right now. I had to run back and forth between frying the eggs and watching this congee. So here the congee, after you leave it on the stove, the water is still hot. So now the congee absorbs even more liquid. Now you can see that it's a bit thicker and some people like to eat it this thick. But if you don't want to eat it that thick, add some boiling water. As much as you like. It is depending how thick or watery you like your congee. With this type of plain congee, normally we have it for breakfast and a lot of time we can have it when we're not feeling well, when we're sick. And we can have this type of congee with fried eggs, salty eggs, salty fish, uh, different fried eggs, uh, steam eggs. <laughs> And here the congee, after you let it sit even longer, now it just absorbs more liquid and it becomes even thicker. If you want it more watery, then again, add some more boiling water and it's good to go again. <laughs> some people, they like it this thick. For me, I like it more watery. 